Hi guys, Steffi here. Uh, okay, yes, we've been on another pen hunt. Um, after a four o'clock in the morning start and then a two and a half, two and a half hour drive there and obviously back, um, we went out pen hunting and we found a few, few pens. As always, some are interesting, some are not as interesting, some as always I'll be using for parts um, most of these pens as always will become available so if anybody's interested get in contact with me um, yeah and some of them what I'll do is I'll I'll restore them to their former glory some of them I'll review some of them if I've already done a review of that specific pen, then it won't be reviewed because, well, I don't see the point of sort of repeating the reviews. So yeah, if there's anything of interest, why not get in touch? And I've still got lots of other pens from previous pen hauls. Um, in a lot of cases, I think a lot of people think, oh, I bet that pen's actually been sold. So they don't inquire, so... Yeah, I've still got quite a few pens to be working on. It's going to keep me very busy for a long time. So let's get on with it in no specific order. Um, this one here I bought as a bag. And this is what was inside. Nice and simple. Um, I think what we've actually got here is, well, yeah, just a job lot of... I think these are mostly or all... Are actually what they term as platinum pens some are quite nice some of them need a little bit of well I, maybe I think that they all may need a little bit of work um, but yeah a job lot of platinum fountain pens now what I'm going to do with this job lot nice and simply I know there's people out there who are actually trying to learn how to restore fountain pens so what i'm going to do i'm going to offer this job lot this bunch of platinum pens i'm going to offer them for sale as a job lot so if anybody's looking to sort of practice uh, their restoration skills then why not get in touch so there's a nice little job lot there of as i say mainly platinum fountain pens so there you have it i hope you've enjoyed <laughs> no 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 i'm only kidding do you want to see the rest of them okay let's show you the rest of them and here we have the rest of them Hey! So again, in no particular order, let's just try and start at the at the front. There we go, a black Schaefer. Um, this is a touchdown with a palladium nib. Um, let's put that to the side. A nice Conway Stewart, I believe. Yep, this is a nice Conway Stewart 55 with a lovely Joro nib. Um, we've got a lovely little Burnham fountain pen there. Um, okay, this one looks like the Waterman, yeah, a Waterman CF. Lovely pens. Again, a Parker. That one looks like a Junior. Great pens. It's a Dufold Junior. Great pens. Great everyday writers. Keep writing for days and days on end. Um, look at this one. This one's quite an interesting. Comes in a little sort of like a case, like a purse, but it's obviously some. Well, yeah, it's obviously a pen case. So if we open that up, and then let's get the pen from inside. There we go. A little bit tired. Well, a little bit quite tired. Um, this is a Waterman 52. You can see, quite discoloured. It's got an accommodation clip to the very top. So, yeah, that's going to need quite a bit of work on it. But, as I say, quite interesting little case. A little bit tatty, but, yeah. Like I say, it closes like a little purse there. So, an interesting pen. Um, there we go. There's a nice pen for you. A Parker 
yep, a Parker 65. The nice thing about it, look at this, it's got what we term as a consort cap. These are quite desirable and quite sought after. So a nice Parker 65. Whoops, a daisy. Here's a beautiful pen. Now this one I've actually sort of looked at. There you go, you can tell what it says on the clip. It's a Parker. It's a Parker Victory Mark 1. And I believe this one's the what they term as a black black lined pearl colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Comes with the sort of correct New Haven, New Haven nib. And for me personally, I think the colour is absolutely stunning. Now, this is the only one within all these, if you like, that I think I will be keeping. So what we'll do, we'll restore that. And I'm, I'm sure we'll actually do a review on that one because it's a stunning pen. It's a Parker Victory. Absolutely gorgeous so one for my own collection I think now what we've got here um, there we go the clips missing I think it's a blackbird pen so once again some of the pens I actually buy to use as parts that is one we've got this black sort of chased pen here it's got this yeah it's got quite it's got an over and under feed the nib, as you can see, is quite dirty. It's an eyedropper. There's no name on it, but the nice thing about these, sometimes you find them, they've got lovely flexy nibs on them. So we'll give we'll give that one a little bit of attention. Um, Swan self-filling pen. Lovely box. Inside. Now, inside, it's actually the wrong pen. So what I'll do, I may actually swap over the box. But look at that, we've got a lovely, um, I think this one's the Swan 2060 fountain pen. Lovely condition, well, it's just a little bit tired, it'll need full restoration. And look at that, hey, <laughs> a massive number six nib. Okay, so we'll restore that one and somebody will enjoy a lovely pen. Let's pop the box to one side. There we go. We've got another snorkel. This time with the open nib. There we go. Snorkel doesn't work, but we can rectify that. These are lovely pens. There's people that enjoy the snorkel pens. So that's another one. Um, yeah, I can recognise this one simply by the clip. It's a Croxley pen. Um, once again, quality made pens, needs a little bit of work, yeah, we'll work on that one and see how it comes out. Um, right, this one's interesting, it's a Parker Parquet fountain pen. Unfortunately, as with quite a few of the pens that I find missing the clip, um, it's got a nib on it, again needs cleaning. It's a lever fill. Interesting pen, but unfortunately, it's a parts pen. So, anybody looking for the parts for a Parker Parquet, you know where to come. There we go. What's this one? Aha! Yeah, this is actually the French-made Parker 75 in this lovely, what they term as black lac, or lacquer if you like. We'll clean this one up. Very popular pens, gorgeous nibs. Again, somebody will enjoy that. Um, what's this one? Ah, a Mentmore Supreme. Great little pens. I've actually think I've actually reviewed this particular pen for you before. There you go. It's got the correct Mentmore nib. Great pens, quality made pens will last for many, many years to come. Uh, yep, yeah, another Schaefer. Um, this time, yep, yeah, it's a touchdown. We'll need servicing, but that'll come out nicely. Another black pen, chased, as you can see. This one's a lever. It's got a gold nib by the looks of it, yep. Yeah. There's no name on that one, so we don't know what it is, but again, 
somebody will enjoy it. Look at that. Isn't it a shame the clip missing from this swan um, lizard skin fountain pen. This is the, the second one I've found in, in a couple of pen holes that's actually got the clip missing. So if there's anybody out there that may have a spare, well actually I'm looking for two. I've got two lizard skin pens and both are actually missing the clip. Anyone out there has got a spare clip or two, please let me know. There we go, we've got a pen in a box. Um, what is it? Ah, a Parker 17, ah, this one's interesting, the Parker 17, but in this case, there we go, look at that, it's got the open, what they term as a beaked, beaked clip. So some of you will know the Parker 17s with um, a semi-hooded nib, this is the earlier version, quite, well they're not rare, but they're actually not as common as the other ones in gorgeous condition, it's not going to need a lot of work that one. So somebody will enjoy a lovely Parker 17. There we go. I think we've had a, a pretty good Schaefer day. We've got another Schaefer. Is it a touchdown? Yes, this one's a touchdown with a gold nib. Once again, we'll need servicing. Ah, look at this one. <laughs> Some of you will look at it and recognise it straight away. I've done quite a few reviews on these pens, so although this one will be looking for a new home, I'm not too sure if I'll review it, but if you look there to the end with this golden sort of cap to the plunger, plunger knob, you'll recognise exactly what it is. It's a Schaefer PFM Mark V. We'll service that, and again, It'll become available. And last but not least, we've got this case here. <coughs> ah, look at this. Parker, a lovely little case. And what we've actually got is this, what they term as a Thuya lac, or this sort of like a, a tortoise shell sort of lacquered finish. Yeah. And it's the, I think this one with this sort of nib here is the Parker Classic. Okay, the, there was two models very similar um, without checking up. I think, I think it's the Classic in gorgeous condition. We'll just give that a clean. And that one along with the, is it a ballpoint? Yeah, a ballpoint. Ah, look, it's just got this little scratch to the, to the barrel there. I wonder if we can actually do something with that. I don't know because apart from that, the pen I don't think has actually ever been used. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I know there's people that collect these out there. If it's of interest, get in touch. And there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> No, no, no. There's a few more. Do you want to see them as well? Of course you do. So let's show you them as well. Here we go. Yes, as always, we always find some with the boxes. Um, so again, in no particular order. There's actually two of these. I found two Schaefer boxes. Now, these always come in handy for putting pens in that I actually find. So there's two Schaefer empty boxes. Again, in no particular order. There we go. Dead simple. Parker 45. But the nice thing about this one, look at that. Still got the original uh, chalk marks. Never been used. Anybody looking for a lovely Parker 45? Get in touch. Another Parker box here. What have we got in here? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Another Parker 45 in this burgundy colour. Um, we've got a Parker 45 fountain pen and a ballpoint. So where are you people that love your Parker 45s? Now, what have we got here? Oh, like, look at this little symbol there. So I assume this 
could be a waterman pen so if I open it up the back yeah look at that waterman now let's take the pen out and look at that what a lovely little pen it's actually got these facet it's actually faceted all the way around so I'm not 100% sure which model I actually bought a couple few pens off a chap that I don't know if he said he lived in France or he goes buying his stuff in France but this is one of them so this is a a waterman made in France it's got this lovely lovely nib on it as well so again we'll just simply need you know just a little clean up but a gorgeous pen for you waterman fans um, this case here there's no name on it ah right we've not had one of these for quite a while look at that a lovely chrome yeah a Schaefer Targer does it have any cartridge or anything no there's no cartridge or anything but these are actually cartridge converter pens but in lovely condition in this it's got these lines running up and down the pen in chrome so a nice Schaefer Targer there we go it says it on on the tin a Waterman pen and there we go look at that this lovely sort of pink blues design chrome nib just needs a clean on the nib looks like some so again slightly faceted to the end there but um, comes with a pencil as well I think what I may do is actually do a freebies do a giveaway I might actually give this one this one away so keep watching and the last three let's open this one up ah once again a again I believe it could be a classic comes in this sort of matte black color oh that's the roller ball so it's got a roller ball and if we take this one out here there we go there's the nib again so again it could be the classic Parker classic lovely condition as I say in this matte black, black um, it's not a lacquer is it I don't know but whatever material lovely lovely condition and then and there we go inside we've got a a cartridge so that one just needs a clean and it'll be ready to go to a new home looking for a home <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so there's the two two waterman boxes these are actually quite interesting I've actually had a quick look at them um, look at this one okay waterman nickel plated clip if we unscrew it it's got this it's actually an 18 karat gold nib there's something a little bit different about this pen so just enough to say we'll do a review on it it's a waterman and again this one I believe is made in France okay and the second one if we open this one up once again a waterman look at that look at that clip there a lovely chunky large size pen once again 18 karat gold nib lovely condition we'll just give it a polish unfortunately if you look there the end of the lever is broken up somebody's obviously tried lifting the lever it's been it's solidified inside and broke the lever so i'm going to have to try and find a box lever to replace it but this will make a lovely pen for somebody again in my opinion well it's not in my opinion I know it's a made in France waterman so if we pop that to one side and yes that is actually it so basically as I said a lot of them pens will be available I'm sure these people again what happens is once I do these reviews people will then email me some people will buy them straight away before I even restore them a lot of people will reserve a specific pen subject to restoration but yeah if there's anything that may be of interest 
why not get in touch so i hope you've enjoyed looking at my latest pen haul don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you will please give it a thumbs up and don't forget wherever you are around the world please stay safe but for now i'll just say bye bye for now